just had a subject uh, run the intersection at uh, one of our busy intersections. Ran the red light. He's at a high rate of speed. I'm trying to catch up to him now. Copy. Now going to be going uh, northbound on Juniper from Randall. Northbound Juniper from Randall. He's weaving through uh, the roadway. You can see he's probably going to be DUI. Going westbound Merrill from Juniper. Westbound Merrill from Juniper. Looks like it's going to be occupied one time. Come on, occupied one time. And are still going westbound, just around the stop sign at Oleander. And we're continuing westbound around the stop sign at Oleander. Get out of the car. 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 What am I doing? Get out of the car. The car's rolling. What am I doing? Get out of the car. Put your hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. I got it. I got it. Stop resisting. I got his left arm. Stop resisting. Good job, guys. Hello, the senior. Get up. He's drunk? Yeah, he's drunk. I'm not actually going to take him off. Did you search him pretty good? You know what? I didn't search the front of him. Hey, how come you didn't stop? I don't want it. You didn't want to stop? No. OK. So what? OK. OK. OK what? You ever been arrested before? Yes, a lot of times. OK, sit down. OK. Siéntate aquí. I don't push me. Sit down. You don't push me. OK, sit down. Don't push me. I could do. Don't sit push. down. OK, don't push me this. Sit down. Get uh. your feet in the car. Get your feet in the car. You want to talk to my lawyer, right? OK, I'll talk to your lawyer. OK, you can do that. Huh? All right. OK. We're going to take him back to the States right now and force blood on him. He's already refused to do any uh, field sobriety tests. He's being extremely uncooperative. He told me that he's been arrested for driving under the influence several times, and he's actually on felony probation for prior driving under the influence. Luis, are you okay? You feeling all right? What happened? I'm okay. You okay? What happened? Okay. How come you didn't stop when I tried to pull you over? I pulled over. You pulled over? Okay, how come you didn't pull over right away? Oh, that depends on how I feel. That depends on how you feel? Did you feel like you didn't want to pull over? Okay. Were you trying to go to your house? Okay. Sit there and relax for a second, okay? All right, All right. we're gonna uh, do a blood draw now. You wanna hey. get out of the car? Get some fresh air? Sit down, right here. I'm uh, a Okay. Okay, oh. okay. relax. Just get up. All right, sir. I need your arm. She's going to draw blood from him to see what his blood alcohol content is. This is not fair. I don't think it's fair. OK. You know what I mean? Relax. You think it's fair? I don't think it's fair. Hold Relax. still, OK? Thank you. No problem. I mean, I, I, I'm an animal, OK? Keep your arm down. I uh, sure. He's going to be transported to West Valley Detention Center for the charges of driving under the influence, 23152A and B, and also uh, vehicle section 2800, felony evading. to a animal complaint call. Seems that there's a, a huge python in oh, someone's house. Hit. Approximately 12 feet long. So we're, uh, we're gonna go over there and check that out and see what we got. 
Let's do a 419, son. You want to see it? I don't know. What, what, are we, what are we looking at? Python. Python? I think. Is it yours? No. Oh, it's outside? Yeah, it's outside. It's, um, well, you can see the, the body is, is behind here. I don't know if... Yeah, I see it. see it. Yeah, he's going this way. Yeah, he's going that way. Do you know whose snake it is? No, no. See, probably is about 12 snake? feet, it looks like. Do you guys have a garbage bag, like a like a big black garbage bag or something like that, or an old pillowcase? Fish and wildlife are on their way. They are? Yeah. When, when did you guys call them? They, they'll be here in like 20 minutes. Oh, okay, then we'll just wait for them. Yeah. Yeah, we can put it in a bag if you guys got one. Is that a python, though? Yeah, it looks like a boa. Here's his head right here. He looks domesticated. Why don't you just grab it, go in there and get him? How long is he? His tail is right. Yeah, he's he's huge. Kimbo, you want to bag him? Yeah. You want to open the bag and I'll, I'll grab him or what? Uh -oh. right. Well, I'll bag. Whatever you want to do. Pull him out. All right, he's starting up. Okay, pull him back. All right, keep the light on. He's right here. Good. Don't strike us. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Watch, watch. There's nothing. He's right there. Watch. Someone get the bag. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Oh, you had him. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where his head's at, but what I want to do is I want to slide him from the bag into the pillowcase. So I don't want him to suffocate, but I don't know where his head's at. That's the, that's the only tough part here. This pillowcase really isn't big enough. You can get some air out of that plastic. Bag. Where's his head at? There's his head right there. His head's right there. Hold on. Just get underneath there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Get him. All right, pull the bag. Oh, man, is he fat. Yeah, he's a fat one. There it is. He's not gonna hurt you. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Somebody's pet. <laughs> Somebody's pet, yeah. He's not our pet. <laughs> he were in there somebody. Yeah. Hey, ain't mine. So how did you guys find that thing sitting in the bushes? Driving back from the game. Uh-huh. And it was actually laying in the street. Oh, it was in the street? I couldn't see the head. Uh-huh. I thought it was like a palm frond or something, because it looked like, you know, the pointy thing. Right, all right. That it started to move. Hold on. Hurt him. Okay, I got the I got the back of the cage. Tilt it down just a little bit. Tilt it down. There Smell that cat. Hi, oh, there's a oh, there's it. You guys getting a lot of these calls lately or no? It is, but uh, what we'll do is we'll take this one back to uh, one of the pet shops and let them scan them and find out because they're required to have pit tags in. Mm-hmm. It doesn't look like he's a very aggressive, so it must be somebody's pet. Yeah. Ah. All right, guys. This won't be the last we see of a boa in the uh, local neighborhood. 